this is the Leicester City football helicopter crash on YouTube. So just Google that. If we go to 46 seconds, that's where we'll see a UFO orb come from here, go next to the helicopter and fly off in a white streak. So let's catch those moments now. We have the first white orb appear right there. It's very faint. So from there it goes there and you'll see a white flash. So that's the um, white orb there. Now we'll do it very quickly to catch it coming next to it. It disappears, as you notice, it's not there anymore. There it is there. It's come near where the pink was. It moves. There it is there. So it quickly goes from down there, stops momentarily and zooms off that way. There it is there as it goes off. Also in one of the pauses you'll see the pink there where it catches the object right next to the pink. So when the pink appears you might see the orb right next to it. So it's very tricky. There it is. So it happened right there when the pink disappears. There it is there. And there it comes from that side and zooms off. It's unusual but it seems like the orb is very close to it and that's one other one coming. So when that goes off the pink colour, that's when you'll see the orb there. So it seems to be that pink could be either the rotors reflecting a pink from the ground, a pink colour, or that could be part of the process of the UFO. So there's the white one there. We'll do it again. Okay, we've got something good now. We see the beginnings of the white one there next to that pink flash right there very good picture. So there's the white one next to it and there's the pink. As the pink disappears the white there it is there then zooms off there. There it is. Then the latest news and the reason I watched the YouTube accident and, and I found again a UFO was they found the helicopter rotor controls failed. But it's very unusual that white object would um, come next to it, seem to be right next to it, when it then a few seconds later loses control. So these are all the people that died. Um, they found that a, a mechanism obviously became disconnected. The failure of the system, it was actually um, disconnected. There was a, a build-up of black grease on one component. Could that have become disconnected when it hit the ground? And obviously they're looking for a cause, because obviously that white object coming next to it looks very unusual. We'll just now try to process the photos. That's the first sign of the UFO there. So we just play around with the control, see the height, try to highlight the white object down the bottom, and we use the contrast and shadows to bring it up. That's probably the best we can do with it. And that's the original. So Yes, it does help to play around with the contrast. Can we pull it off? Maybe. Okay, that's it there. And um, that's the white object there, right there. So if we enlarge it, you see the white object starting to come from there. This is the second photo. And there's the white object there as it moved up. So I'll just try to process it using contrast. There it is 
that's a clearer white one. It makes it dark, but it helps bring up the white object. So if we take it more this way, then this way. So there it is there. We'll save that one. This is the third screen capture. It's clear because the pink colour has gone away. That could be from the rotors picking up some ground light. Probably not important, the pink. There it is there. Got a very good capture of it right there. So there it is right there. Very good capture. This is the third screen capture. Obviously it's a very easy one because it's very pronounced on this one. So there it is there. This should be very easy to... Rep oh, here we go. Perfect. There it is there. That's quite easy to see. Very good image, that one.